So um, I will call the meeting to order at one minute after five. And I guess what I would like to do is not finalize our select board goals, but if for no other reason than to fill up some of our time that we've got here until the Planning Commission arrives at 530, presuming Dorinda doesn't have 25 minutes worth of material. Mm, to I have two topics, but they're not long ones. Okay, so. all right. So I would suggest we throw out some ideas Actually, for goals. One of them can be on the goals. Okay. And get them in the minutes. And Sarah, what would be helpful is, and I meant to ask you when I talked to you today, and I forgot, or emailed you today, but do you have last year's goals? It took me two seconds. Yeah. So we can review all the things we didn't do last year before we start off. which I will definitely do, is do a side-by-side -side between that and mm, the existing yeah, one. I that you too. read that by itself, and it starts to sound like, isn't that what we did the last time? Right. But I know there have been a lot of changes. I know. And maybe they'll, what I'm going to ask them to do tonight is highlight the significant yeah. changes. Yeah. I, mean, I read just, through the entire thing, and I didn't compare it right, I didn't to compare the other it. one. But I didn't. Oh, there's a couple of little questions I have in there, but nothing. No, it didn't look. It didn't look horrible to me. I mean, it looked, no. uh, so whatever Sandy did to get this thing spit out in a hurry, kudos to her, because I know there was a lot of groundwork done before, but yeah. getting the damn thing in draft format is no small no. thing. No. Well, a lot of that is the consultant. It's on legal paper. That must have been a meeting. <laughs> No, 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 that's fine. We actually did during the organizational meeting last year. Wasn't that organized of us? All right. Well, that's because we probably had it. Would you like to? Would you like to read them? Sure. Right there, right there. Thank you. Oh. Number one. In consultation with the emergency management coordinator, establish a shelter at the Romney School. Well, that should Let's still be on there because it isn't quite. I mean, we're, we're we moved we're, down the road, but we're not there yet. We're pretty close. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I think we should keep that as a. Yeah. Have that finalized. It's pretty darn close. So I would say, in yeah, finalize emergency management at the Romney School. Downgrade those roads. We did that. Upgrade five-year capital plan. I don't think we ever really did that. We talked about it, but we never really did it. I'm not aware that we ever really did it. Didn't. Passing the new town plan, we damn sure didn't do that. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, working with the Middlesex Volunteer Fire Department to establish emergency management headquarters at the Welsh Park Fire Station, and I think that is mostly complete, that's too, complete, right? Yeah. yeah, that's our that's our main emergency right. headquarters. Communication yeah. facility. Steve's house is the backup, in case it's not available. <laughs> hey, I've got heat and water in my garage. <laughs> Consider presenting to the town voters in 2019 a sliding scale of delinquent tax fees to take into account how long taxes have been delinquent. Huh. I think we discussed that and rejected it because there was a state statute saying you couldn't do it. Well, it's a sliding scale anyway because you pay a half a percent a month, right? Does anybody remember what our thought was on that? I don't. No. Well, Someone brought it up for some reason. Right. So we should bring it up again just to see. Yeah. Do we have a lot of delinquent taxes now? No. And maybe the, and, and, and the right. new tax payment uh, plan passed, didn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Yes. So that might help too with folks in terms of parceling out their money a little bit. Yeah, but I don't think we want to start saying it's 
half a percent for the first year, one percent for the second year, one and a half percent for the. I don't think our computer system would have the ability to do that. So we'll scratch that right. over. Yeah. You don't want to bring it up with the other no. two, in case that was Mary's thing. Okay, scratch it. So, what have we got for new stuff? I think we need to explore, um, and I don't know what it would look like, um, but some sort of uh, either repairs on the town hall or a new town hall. And what would that well, exploration look like? I mean, we can add it to it, but to me, that's the five-year capital plan. You know, yeah. what are we? What are the renovations to the? Right. What do we do right. about the town hall? So what I think we, we do need about to come up with garage? a goal, though, like like actually doing something about the, um, you know, so for example, the ADA compliance here. Like I had to use the elevator this past weekend, and it was, like, the person had to actually walk down the stairs to use the elevator. And that just had to do with. I don't know what. You couldn't get, I don't know if we could well, get in. Or I, I, the snow and the ice. Yeah, coming. there was the snow and the ice and all that. So, I mean, there's just things that, like, I feel like we should, instead of just, ex, you know, talking about no, it. No, we, we need to we actually, need to have a plan of to when it's going to happen. Right. So, or Because or, we're going to get, we're, I mean, we're going to get, if we're not careful, we're going to get trapped into putting a new elevator in this building, right. and that's a mistake. That's like a waste of money mm -hmm. if we're not going to stay here. Yeah. Right. I mean, I still, there's got to be some way, and I, honest to God, I, I tried to get that guy in my clutches one day, and he evaded me, but there's got to be some way for some reason. I mean, I would replace every relay and every switch and every control box on that goddamn elevator. There's nothing wrong with the basic mechanical part of the thing. It's all the, it's all the controls. Yeah. And then protect that doorway some way so... You know, it opens and closes correctly. So, two things that we know about this building are that the elevator is an issue, and then the vault. And these are those are two difficult sort of things to tackle, aren't they? In terms of like cost effectiveness. Expense. Well, uh, they're expensive, <laughs> and if all you're going to do it is because you're going to turn around and sell a building in a year or demolish it or whatever we're going right. to do, that makes no sense. Um, right. <laughs> Sarah, when I was here the other day and the elevator guy was here and he said it's an electrical problem that we should be talking to our electrician. Didn't he was he? talking about the light problem that we have. Oh. We can't make the light in the elevator work. We okay, can't find so a switch for that light. Okay, so it was strictly related was strictly, to the but light. But that's actually a problem. That, so when when uh, Middlesex Lifter came in to change the lights, I said to them, would you please address the light bulb at the top there? And he, came, he said, well... Ask your elevator guy because I can't find where that switch is for that light. It's right out here in the hallway. It's right here in the hallway, and it's also upstairs. It's a it's three-way switch. It's yes, not. it is. Well, you can find if middle size electric the problem, couldn't find it. No, no, no. The problem is that probably the bulb is burned out, so you can't no, tell. No, he said the bulb was fine. It's it's not. We we've been all through this. We we went all around. I'm telling you. I'm here. I had. Okay. Would you just would you just do me a favor? Yes. Call up. The queen of the elevator, Cindy Carlson, and say, where is the switch? Or email her, where is the switch for the light in the elevator? All right. She will know. Okay. And if not, I will flip every switch in the stand building until I figure out which one it is. But I'm telling you. You did that. And so did John. I'm telling you. I well, then it's a, it's a bad circuit breaker. Or it's some, I mean, it, it, the light can't be rocket science. That's simple, I know. right? Yes. So this is what I think our goal should be for this year, Two th twofold. One is to have a professional person come in here and determine what would need to get done to make improvements on the place. So that one, it doesn't flood, mm. two, that there's a vault, three, that the elevator's fixed, or we also price out a new building. And well, at least to have something that we can say to people, this is, these are our choices. I, I don't know that we need to hire a professional to come in here and tell us what they think. I think that the five of us can come up with what we need to do, and then you hire the professionals that design or whatever, but, or to come up with the prices, but I don't know that we need professionals to come in. Right, whatever. We need so, to, like, have something that we can present can to people just, to can say. Can we just back up for a minute? One minute? Yes, we can. What's our 
end game goal. My end game goal is to sell this building. I am not interested in renovating this building. So having some rough numbers about what it potentially could cost to help sell the new building, yes, I'm all for that. But going into a detailed, really detailed thing about you know how you expand the vault, we've got a proposal to replace the elevator. We know what that is. Um, you know, are we going to look into, you know, putting the mm -hmm. vault upstairs so the whole town clerk's office could be upstairs? That's something we talked about over the years. But basically what you have to do to do that is build what amounts to virtually a whole vault down here because you have to pour a complete foundation and then pour the vault on top of that foundation. So you're going to have a, you know, you're going to have the old vault here, then you're going to have whatever the extension of it is in concrete out here. And, you know... Yeah. That's a big deal. Expensive. So yeah, I yeah. mean we can get some we can get some rough numbers. But I mean what what I what we need to do is say, okay, our goal is to have this project done in three years, four years, five years, I don't know what it is. But you know, it's gonna take us at least a year, if not more, to get our act together, sell it to the voters. Right. A good portion of a year to build, assuming we're building a new building, building the new building, you know, then we got to turn around and sell this building or this whole establishment here, if that's what the, if that's what the plan is. But... I'm not sure that vault can last five years. What? That vault can't last five years. Oh. Well, saying. It's going to have to last some period of time because these things don't happen overnight, no matter how fast we try and do well, it. Well, they build, they build an addition to the school within a year. They got floated a bond in, you know, just November, or December, and there was there was construction being started that spring. I'm just saying that we're we've already got financial records in the closet around the corner, and that is not right. They need to be in the vault. Well, whatever the timeline is, we need to agree on what the timeline is. And we need to put together some numbers as to what the, the bond is going to look like and what the effect on this, you know, all the stuff we so have to do. So it sounds like this goal for the select board is going to be happen, finish happening at our next meeting when we have all I would numbers. hope so, yes. And the other part of this is, as much as it sounds like it's all about this building, it isn't all about this building. It's, if heaven forbid we decide to stay here and not sell this, what do we do with the old fire department? What do we do to renovate the the... New town garage, the ha ha, new town garage, and the uh, old town garage. Yeah. We need to spend some money on those babies too while we're. Well, that all comes into that capital plan. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I think, I mean, how we word it and exactly what our timeline is, I think we need to talk about it and put it down. And I agree. I mean, I can tell you one thing. If we say it's going to be five years, it'll be seven years. So. Let's say uh, two years, and then it will be three and a half. <laughs> We Let's, can settle that. We can settle that at our next meeting. But I mean, right. to say that, to say that in, on uh, town meeting day of 2021, we're going to have a dedication of the new or renovated goal. town hall. How about yeah. that? I like that. Yeah. In the meantime, though, with those goals, we can come up with some things that really have to be done in this building to get it sale ready, even well, or um, not. Just whatever. The access. Well, to make it movable thing. for access, two yes. years. <laughs> well, we need to, we need to get somebody who can deal with that elevator and make it work. And I'm not saying I'm. Uh, there aren't that many relays and controls to that thing. It's a simple thing. Replace them. They're all 25 years old. It costs a couple of thousand bucks to replace them. Replace every single one of them. Oh man, it's not just the elevator. Is it that those steps don't work in the winter? And then after winter, like look, this, look, Sarah, we're not. We're, I'm talking about in the other access as well. I understand, but if our goal is to make this building saleable, we don't have to cover those steps, which is what we should have done when we put in the Walter Kelly concrete steps, was to put a roof over that. That would have solved that. We should have at least a cricket type roof over this entryway for the elevator out here to keep the ice and snow away from it, which is half the problem why the door won't Let's work make correctly. it a goal. Well, like, okay, so goal number, goal number two is to do what we need to do to make the town hall usable and accessible for the next two years. And also make it create value at sales time. 
that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, what do, what do we say about the the uh, garage? <laughs> <laughs> Other than we ought to bulldoze it. I don't know what to say about that right now. I mean, we're gonna take a hard look at that. The town garage. Hmm. It's bad. We bought a cheap, you know, prefab, pre-do-it building. building, and we're paying the price for that now. You know, it needs yeah. everything. Poorly insulated. Yeah. The metal's failing in spots. You know, it's bad. I'll try to come up with some stuff. I mean, all, I, all I'm saying is, there's a good chance that if somebody really looked at that, they'd say what you should do is get rid of that building. They, the the, the pre-constructed metal buildings are a lot better than they used to be and put up a new one. Well, and then that brings us to the town clerk. Maybe they're combined, you know, and that you're... Well, who knows? It's I think it would be an educational experience for the town clerk to use the same facilities that the road crew use. It's not out of the realm of reality. Oh, yeah. What, to have I'm just, I'm just saying, I, I, I mean, I, the things can be connected. Right, that's what I mean. No, 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 connected is one thing. You know, sharing the heating system, whatever, yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm just telling you, I bet, I bet if we got a architect slash engineer type person to look at that building, they'd say, you know what, save the garage doors, save the cement, there's nothing wrong with that. That very well could be. And I don't know what a bill, I mean, it's easy enough to find out what yeah. a building like that would cost. That's pretty simple to get a price on that. Yeah. But we should at least look at that while we're looking at this other stuff. So what have we got? So there's, there's Those are facilities. Big holes right there. Eh, yes and no. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done, but there isn't, you know, it's going to be people going out and getting information and getting back to us. Um, in terms of operations, our computer system is, <clears throat> we hope, up to snuff now, right? We're in a good place with our photocopier and all our other stuff, lease, blah, 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 nothing to be done there. Done. Done. <laughs> done. Yeah. You just did it this week. Well, it's done. It's done. But um, I'm just trying to think of other things other than the expanding the vault issue, which we're well aware of. Okay. Um, what do you think about uh, Dor Dorinda, how are you feeling about like the hours that you're putting in? Do you feel like you're doing some volunteer time for your treasury hours? I'm just comparing like, you know, what Callus pays their treasurer versus what we pay our treasurer <laughs> and the amount of work. Like, I mean, I just want to make sure that we're not shortchanging you for the work that well, you're doing. Well, I don't know. I'm assuming Callus probably their treasurer does the bookkeeping okay. side of it as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy. Okay, I you're, mean, you're... down the road, I don't know if the next person will be, but okay. I mean, I've got, you know, um, but we do have the problem of Patty right. probably will be gone by the end of the year. Okay. And I certainly do not want that position, nor do I feel it's a good idea. I think we got a great check and balance. Yeah. yeah. And I, agree. I would like to see it continue that way. Oh, I agree. So, depending on Wowzers. Well, yeah, well, Patty's on vacation. Oh, there you go. <laughs> It's a good way to save money. Don't pay any bills. No. Um, so while we have five or six minutes here, um, I know you've got a couple of things you want to talk about. Well, I, one of them would fall under your goals, um, and I brought it up once before, is we talked about changing how we track the vacation sick time. Yeah. So I think that should be on the agenda. Um, as one of the goals to readdress the personnel policy for that. Yep. Yep. 
That had to do with how it was parceled out, like based on their, like when they were right. hired yeah, or something. Like, what would they you have now? to work during the winter. What we do, what we do now is they get all their vacation in one yeah. chunk. Right. Anyway, yes, okay. we need to I fix think that. that should be, you know, and then it would go on their paycheck on a regular basis and yeah, they would know what right they have. Yeah, tracked all the time. They'll be tracked all the time and it'll be tracked on a regular basis. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good to yeah. get in place before somebody else comes on. Yeah. Um, the other thing we intend to do, which I talked to Patty about before she left, was we're changing, we're going to try to change the chart of accounts to accommodate the way we're tracking all mm -hmm. the highway expenses. So that will be extra good. time yeah. that will have to be spent for doing that, but you'll get a lot more information out of it. Good. So that was one of them. So do we do we know Patty's plan as as far as we know is to be gone by the end of the year? So the end our of the plan, calendar year? Our plan would be to hire somebody in the fall so they can be trained by her, correct? I would say you're gonna need and then there'll still be things that only get done once a year that, you know, hopefully in her training that she can train them as to how that's handled because it probably won't come about. Right. Um, and then they'll well, forget it by the time it comes and out. And then they're going to forget it by the time they come out. So there should be some kind of, you know, there's got to be some good notes taken because, to be honest with you, I don't even know how to do a lot of it. And municipal accounting, which I'm finding out, is completely it's a different. different. Breed of cat. Yeah. It is. So... Now, presumably, presumably there is training available through yes. the state, right? Well, Nemrick will come in. Nemrick, and that's what Nemrick I mean. Nemrick will come in and train, and you know, Patty keeps reassuring me that if anything was to happen, because I said, God forbid, if something happened to you, you know, and she says, oh, they'll come right in and take over right where I left off, you know, if you had to. Well, that's one of their big selling points. Right. Mm -hmm. So is, um, is that they provide that uh, they provide yeah. that backup. So between Patty and Nimrick, we can get it. So I would are you say thinking would, two months? I was I would say you probably would want them here for a full quarter at least, you know, and you're not talking a lot. You're talking it, one day a week, you know, right. Patty's only here, maybe eight hours a week or something right. like that. So right. it's not a huge. But of course, it's going to slow her down when she, when you have to show everybody yeah. what they're doing, and then when she has to sit there and have the other person do it, everything goes slower than when you're. Just it does, doing it but I mean, she's good enough at what she does now that I I don't see that being a big obstacle. So. The other thing I would say about that is for all of us to keep our eyes out for a person. Boy, everybody's looking for good bookkeepers, yeah. that's for darn sure. But there are a lot of part-time bookkeepers out there. The question is, can we find a part-time bookkeeper who has already worked on Nemrick? That would be ideal. That and, would be the... And possibly, um, you know, there's a great... Um, System through what is it called? The where you write to all your fellow the VSCTA, the yeah. Vermont Municipal Clerk and Treasurer yeah. Association. They also they're good. That's a they're, good resource. It's like a great resource. You send something out and they'll even send you a treasurer who's been retired to come in and swoop in and fill in. Yeah, we had to do that up in Orange. So right. So, yeah. Well, ideally, we're not going to have a fill in person. We're going to no, have a but, person, but but I'm saying that they may know somebody that is sure working somebody's up working like somebody's that. working two days a week in East. Montpelier and then we're right, looking for another day or you know yeah. whatever it is that would be the perfect scenario what else have we got quickly for tonight for tonight no for goals, goals. Oh, goals. goals. Um, I'll, I'll go through all the minutes for last year and see if anything popped up every once in a while you guys will say you know just like address something I think there was something that we had to do with the Conservation Commission if I recall um, but maybe maybe they're good they got their hands full. They've got their hands full. <coughs> I like the new lights. It's nice and bright in here. They're good. Yeah. What a difference. Yes. The warm LEDs. Yeah? Yeah. Power bill should drop like a rock. 
cut that out of the budget. Okay, well, I think that's I think that's a good start. I mean, we, you know, we always come up with all these things, and then we uh, we don't ever seem to have time to deal with them. But I think the capital plan is the is the big thing. Your your, you know, adjustment to the way we do now. Ideally, we would want to start the new whatever we're going to call it timekeeping system. July 1st, right? Start well, out with a conjunction with a fiscal well, year? Well, no, because the way it's handled right now is the new the new hours have been traditionally handed out in May, I believe. Oh. So I think it's something you should address sooner than later so we can get it. Because otherwise, employees are going to be expecting that starting in May. Yeah, we need to communicate with them because yeah. if we don't do it, if we don't do it, at the, I mean, there's never a good time to do it. I don't. You know, think you got to go through a transition. So if we if we have to give people their existing vacation and then start accruing it, like say, okay, you're you're getting your ten days or whatever it is, which is supposed to be for the whole year, and you normally get it in May. Well, now you're going to get six days in May, and the other six days are going to be prorated out over the rest of the year, and then you're going to be in the new world, right. or something like that. Yeah. Right, and I think what you need to address is how much in advance they can borrow, like to address right. the Fridays right. and during the, the summer. And during the transition, right. you have to say, you know, we'll allow you to go into the hole. It's right. just got to work out in the end. We're not trying to, you know, if you have vacation, you're planning to take your family to Disney World, and you need every vacation day right. for for June, because that's when you're going, or July, or whenever it is, and under this new system, you're not going to have it, well, yeah. And it's nothing different than you're not already doing, really. We've got one person that is negative in the hole on sick time or something like right. that. So, right. we, I mean, we we work it out, you know, so. No, yeah, but, but I, think, yeah. I think rather than having them get a paycheck with some kind of new screwy information right. on it or heaven forbid not right. get reimbursed for a vacation that they were counting on. We just it's yeah. all about the communication. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. And Steve and I do such a good job of talking to the road crew. They love those meetings with us. Yeah, we got another one coming right away. <laughs> we do? Yep. Oh. What's that about? <laughs> oh. Uh oh okay. No, not at all. <laughs> okay. It's a discussion though. Okay. Well, yeah, and we promised them we were going to meet with them once a year, and we're yep. behind, so we need to do that. Anything else, anybody? Okay. Are you going to do Measure. these goals for the next meeting? Which They'll is be in next week. The second. Next week. Yeah. Next week. Next week. Yeah. Don't you guys me. Get no, you're right. It's it's you're right. First, you're right. First. You're right. I mean, yeah. I keep every Tuesday. I have a meeting or an election. That seems you're to be right. the pattern. <laughs> so it is on the second. Yeah. Okay. Second. Is it the second? Or the then third? we're back to the first and the third. The no, I was, it can't be on the third. The third it's is second. Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. And the fourth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll be here. Okay. Um, I'll be ready to run out the door and head to Florida, but I'll be here. You haven't gone yet? I thought you looked tan. No. no. I haven't been in the sun yet. Okay. okay. Are, you, are you waiting for more planning commission people? Or? Um. <laughs> I know. I was about to put you on the spot. We're I. I if you've got other things to, to do, then that would be great. Otherwise, no, um, we can. I'll do my treasurer report. Yeah. Sure. I, I think there are others coming. Okay. Um, I just wanted to bring, and I don't know if there really falls under treasurer report, but I just want it in the record and you guys to be aware that prior to town meeting, um. Janet McKinstry contacted the person at Edwards Jones to get information from him um, about them being taken off the account. And he said that, told her that legally he couldn't talk to her, that, you know, that her name wasn't on the account to do that. Um, again, she contacted him after town meeting 
and said she wanted a letter from him in writing saying under what circumstances their name was taken off the um, the ability to be on the account. So I just want you guys, I mean, it has nothing to do with me. Um, I don't know if you want to call a meeting with the Cemetery Commission, but the gentleman at Edward Jones is, I mean, he's kind of, he says, I can't legally speak to her. And I think he's kind of getting upset that yeah, you know, not upset. She has but such a friendly tone of voice. He's concerned that he's yeah. continuing yeah. to get these phone calls. So she gets reports, right? She gets this monthly statement, the Edward Jones statement. So what she's upset about is that her name isn't on the account. That's what she's fundamentally. Well, she's about. she's an interested party, but he can't discuss anything other then she gets this. He can't talk to her about who made changes, if any were made, if they're, um, why, I mean, it really boils down to why her name was taken off her as the I think it that, makes sense to invite them back. I mean, I think that there they, was some tension still, at the meeting and it was. makes sense to yeah. And I don't think there's a clear them. understanding of what transpired. And I don't think it was clear, made clear during town meeting, because I'll tell you that after the meeting, I had people come up to me and with the impression that there was something funny going right. on. Right. And right. Well, of course, that's what she's telling everybody. Well, that's not what she was telling everyone, but no. it was, it was, it wasn't. It was implied that. And we didn't talk about it because it wasn't germane to, to that. Subject. No, no, no. Subject. But I mean, we, I, I had hoped when me, we met with them the last time that they understood what was what and they maybe weren't happy, but they were accepting of it. Well, clearly, Janet is not, and she is not going to let this go. So how we... Yeah, and I don't think having another meeting is going to help. But I think we should, though. But I think we should, Well, I'm yeah. all for having a meeting, but I, but I want to have a plan as to what the resolution of this is. Like, is there a way for her to be able to, I mean, she has no authority and will have no authority to make any changes to that account. But there's no reason she can't ask him questions. I have no problem with her asking him questions. Like, why, why did this change? Why didn't this change? You know, whatever. Her role is, the way I see it and the way I've seen it, and I tried to tell her that, is if that cemetery commission thinks there's some change that needs to make that account, they should come to us and we should say, yeah, that sounds like a good idea, or no, it doesn't. One or the other. We should work on it together. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't want her to be writing any checks or have any you know, direct control, but in terms of getting information, um, I thought she'd be happy getting the statements. I mean, she should be able to tell anything she needs from those statements. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what she's going to ask this guy that, that isn't there in the statements, but well, you know darn well she's not going to call up Dorinda and ask her a question about the statement. She sure no. as hell isn't going to call me up. No. Well, let's just, let's, we're going to have to come up with something for a concrete plan so and have them at like a meeting. Sure well, I guess I guess the question is, and, and maybe this is a question for Halpert, is, is there a way for us to give her the authority to talk to Edward Jones, to get information, information gathering only? Yes, any person from this, any person should be able to call up Edward Jones and ask them because it's taxpayer money, it's public money. Right, but he is not... He is not accepting of that. Well, he's he ha well, he's. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. There's legal rant. I mean, it's all confidential. Why is it um, not? Yeah, but she's on, it's, she's it's on the cemetery commission. It's confidentiality to talk about if you're not an authorized signer on an account. Right. Yeah, There's a confidentiality I issue. I disagree. I think that it's. I think it's public money. It's public money, but it still comes down to this. She can't make any decisions. But if I wanted to call up and just say, "Hey, where's that money going?" I would expect that Edward Jones would be able to, to give me a printout, and I should be able to have it. Well, then I guess the question comes back to 
asking Edward Jones if we can put something in writing that he can discuss it with any citizen or something if you, like if that. If the board wants me to contact Halpert, make sure that that's I would, true. I, yeah, I would contact that. Halpert. But he's just going by what he is legally bound that he can't. It's no different than I would. No, no, no. I, I was trying to go on the account. No, I understand. To me. Yeah, I'm just thinking that he's not used to dealing with municipalities right. like, and that he's just not familiar with that. I mean, remember he did. But have I mean, she should be as a member. Of the, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about having having Joe Citizen call up and ask him questions. Why not? But well, well maybe why not? But for a yes. for an elected member of the cemetery commission or an elected member of the select board or the treasurer or the town clerk to ask a question, he should be able to answer those questions. Well, why don't I ask Halpert? Yeah. And maybe so. Halpert I mean, I I want to when we I I agree we need to meet with him, but I want to have. A solution, which I think might solve the problem, before we just meet with them, because all she's going to come in here is nope. say all the same stuff she said before. Yeah. You stole my money. We need right? to move on to yes. Yes, right. we do. I'll put this out. In the <laughs> okay. We're all here. We are ready. All, almost all here, other almost. than Dick. But I want to call the Planning Commission meeting to order because it's noticed and we have a quorum here. So okay. this is a joint for this purposes. It's a joint select board and Planning Commission meeting. And um, I mostly wanted to um, meet with the select board to go over our provide an update of our work on updating the town plan. And most importantly, to look at this schedule, which I apologize, it's somewhat incomprehensible, but to uh, good start to adopt a new town plan requires no less than five hearings, all with their own notice requirements, which is why it takes four months from the start of when you've got like a draft done to the time it can actually be adopted. And specifically, select board has a role to play. I'm not going to remember all of this precisely, but basically we go through our process, have a, pub, have, a, have a final draft, have a public hearing, get input on that, make any changes. We adopt um, a town plan. We then hand it off to the select board. And the select board can make changes, but we're, we are removed from it at that point. You all can make changes. But we also have to have a But you also have to have a public hearing. So what I, you know, I'll, I'll cut to the chase. What I was hoping is that we could sort of have something of a combined process that keeps the select board informed with what we're doing so that you're not in the dark and when we hand it off to you, there's big changes in store from the select board's point of view. Right. I don't know how you'd like to do that. If you want to have one or two select board members work with, be kept up to date on the planning commission, if you all, well, you know, what we're doing going forward, it's a fairly tight schedule. Um, but I, I think ideally, to the extent we can, by the time the, the planning commission has a has a final draft, if that's close, if the select board has reviewed it at that time and feels comfortable with it or can provide input through that process, that would be helpful. It would just avoid going through um, additional uh, changes when it's in in your hands. Right. And we, we, we're no long, we no longer have anything to do with it. And I think right. the key is if you change it after we pass it to you, that delays the time it takes to implement the town plan by another warning period. And that would push us potentially past the September timeline, which is the goal for us to be able to apply for grants. Right. Mm -hmm. What I don't want to do, though, is, I mean, you know, getting these drafts that you've been sending us out has been great. I said, the, mm -hmm. as, I, as I said to everybody earlier, the piece that I haven't done that I want to do and I will do is sit down with the old town plan and the new town plan side by side. I didn't do that. But I very carefully read through the draft, not the one you sent just last night, but the previous one. So, you know, I'm one draft behind. But I, speaking for myself, didn't see anything which jumped out at me as a, you know, oh my God, this is some problem we have to deal with. Um, you know, the, the, the challenge is, you know, the, the better the draft, the less the changes. So what I'm hoping is, is, you know, if they're editorial changes, if they're spelling corrections, if they're this or that, that's fine. But if if we're going to make a major change in the intent of the plan, 
that's when the wheels start to come off the wagon. And that sounds like that's what you'd like to avoid. Believe me, I think that's what we would like to avoid. Because it's no good, and it gets people confused and roiled up and everything else. But I didn't see, and I'm looking no. around the table here, I didn't see anything that looked no, I read, very controversial. I read this draft, the latest one, and I, I mean, it, I made a couple of little notes, but there was nothing that jumped out at me, and I didn't compare it either. But. I'll just jump a little bit. Last time when we did an update to the zoning bylaws, when I was last had the opportunity to be on the Planning Commission, there was a process by which it was determined that the zoning bylaw recommended changes were inconsistent with the town plan. So one of the goals, I hope, for the town plan is that it becomes a product whereby subsequent zoning bylaws are not inconsistent with the town plan. So that's just one observation. Absolutely. That's just one observation. Right. Because yep. that's the next, you know, the next that's step the next after step. this is, then we have the fun of moving on to the zoning regulations, which is where, <laughs> if the fur is going to fly, that's where the fur is going to fly. So that's the fly. brief example of Theo perseverating over spilled milk, okay? Because that, that, to me, was a huge effort that led to a version of not. So I want to avoid that. The other thing, and just commending you on what you said, um, to the extent on the substance of the matter, and certainly in the large policy zones, we can't um, exert any pressure on the select board's autonomy and governance to say that you can't make a choice subsequent to ours. Obviously you can, and I'm repeating what you said, but it would... It, it wouldn't just be about not being able to get grant monies for the feasibility study, which will allow us to build the house that Jack built, but, but it's also that the process itself becomes encumbered. Like if, so if it's a possible way where without stretching your limits too much, exactly the way you've just said it, that you've read it, then we can know. You'd be like, hey, Sandy, this area here, <laughs> you know, we got to talk about well, it. Well, I think with the, that's, you know, that's, that's number one, is to, is to figure out if there's anything which are going to be, you know, I hate to use the expression deal breakers, but a problem where, right. because if we can deal with those things now and, and get our compromise made so that that draft that comes to us is pretty complete and we're already accepting of what's in there, mm -hmm. you know, who knows? We may hear, you know, we might hear something in our public hearing that we hadn't, none of us had heard before that might cause us to want to change something. Yes. Sure, mm -hmm. that can happen. But... If we, as the representatives of the town, are more or less in agreement on what's in there, we've taken a giant step forward. And I also think to be able to say to the citizens of the town that, you know, we have worked and collaborated on this together. And yes, the Planning Commission <laughs> created the draft with the help of their consultant, but we reviewed it, we've gone over it, we made a few changes, you know, and we're happy with the, with the product. That goes a long way in terms of... Uh, let me ask a really practical question. Could we put, what do you guys think about putting this draft or the drafts as you put them on the website? No? I think it's a great idea as long as it has a lot of caveats that it's a draft, 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 draft. I understand right. that. This, is, this is very much a work in project, in, pro, in process, and yeah. you know, there's holes to be filled. you're talking about making sure that you have uh, public input <clears throat> and you can show that yeah. should anybody challenge the town plan that right from the very yeah. get-go yeah. was out there we invited oh, no. public Thanks. input and you could make email any comments to Sandy Levine's home phone address. <laughs> <Right? laughs> so there you go. I was going to put a link on front forum so if you put it on the website that's what I was really going to say. So every time yeah. I'll just say like yeah. draft one, yeah. draft two, update it. with an updated okay. date okay. and you know please yeah. read through it because I read through this and I found some concerns and I would like to check Good. it. Good. That's, that's what we yeah. want to hear. The citizen in you? The citizen in me did okay. not like the tone of some some, some okay. ring. <laughs> so is the that music to our ears, Madam Chair? What is what, what music? Heard? So put it on. Not the notice part, but just this whole, I mean, that's kind of the biggest thing we were looking for, right? This so way. when, yeah, let, me so just, let me just review your... Yeah. Go, yeah. So there's the there's looking on the timeline here. Yeah. So uh, a quick look at the timeline. To, um, where let's start with the 424. We got we we have the the draft. The 324. 324. Um, that, that's this draft that I, sh I shared with yeah. with all yeah. of you. And then we have a meeting next week. Um, the full planning commission will meet and go through this more carefully and and um, address some of the issues that were that were flagged. Um, then some point during April there will be another. Um, working group, it may be a full quorum of, of the planning commission, if so, we'll notice it and then 
we're looking to have the uh, uh, close to a, fi a final draft, I think, by April 28th. And at that point, deliver it to the Regional Planning Commission so they can start their internal review. Process, yeah. And have a public review of the draft plan. I think we're looking at a May 9th public hearing. Will we have gotten any response back from the Regional Planning Commission at that time? Because um, I remember they they came up with some fairly significant changes the last time, which surprised us all, I believe. Okay. So I just, I don't know how You've quickly... You've been working with them anyway. We right? have been working with them, and they have their own process. They said they'll be happy. That would be a good thing to double-check, and I will see. Will we, by May 9th, will we have input from... So just observe we on that RPC. point while you're doing that. The town consultant that Sandy secured is knowledgeable about these issues. So the idea that she would create something which is wildly off-key with the Regional Planning Commission. Uh, I know, but boy, yeah. we, you know, we have, you know, yeah. it's a new yeah. world at the it's Regional Planning, planning Commission. No, but in any case, and hopefully the last time we had real problems. That's okay. all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that's good to know. And I think it, you know, it was flagged to try to get their input early, make sure they get a, a, a draft you know, even before um, the public public review plan, so that we could get that input from them. But I yeah, and I just want to be clear. I mean, if, it, if it's a matter of updating data on some of the charts or something, I mean, they look at all those charts. They look at all that stuff. That to me can be she's fixed. working can side be readily by. fixed. That can be fixed. I'm not worried about that. But if if there's something fundamentally which has to be added to the town plan, which really changes it. I think we want to know that before we have even your public hearing, let alone yeah, our yeah. public hearing. Yeah, no, I see I got the dates wrong already. I wasn't so, looking yeah, at I'm just talking about it. if you're going to have a public hearing no. on May 9th, you're going to have to warn it. No, the, the, the Planning Commission public hearing is June 19th. Official public hearing. Oh my gosh. That's I later. Sorry. May 9th myself. I was like, oh, ah. May 9th, oh, no. Public review. Right. Um, I'm lost on this thing now. Yeah. Yeah. On the back side, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the back. 619 is, like is the Sunday. first public hearing. Okay. Can have it on the June 19. June 19. Does that work? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. June now, is there anything as far as um, the statutes that prohibit us from not having a select board's public hearing? No, I think we have to have a you have to No, have no, I'm, I'm not saying that. I am I know we have to. But is that you want to do this in conjunction? You still have to have your hearing, but I would, Here. I it would be helpful if you could review it as we go along and provide I, I, input earlier. Okay. All right. But so that's I'm a clear. question I've never heard. Could you coordinate the two public hearings? Is, I don't think so. No. I think okay. by statute they have. Yeah. We have yeah. to do yeah. it first, and we have to hand it off to them. That's right. what you're headed for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you could do it like the week after. Just but like, again, you know, my hope would be that we can all be in agreement, so right. that we are not the select board isn't making changes at that point in time. We've got our public hearing. We may want some little tweak or something as a result of the public hearing. But other than that, you know, I just remember the last time we spent a lot of time at the public hearings about, you know, should it say will or should it say shall or should it say maybe or, should, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, that to me can all be dealt with somehow. There's some compromise that mm -hmm. can, if, if that's all it is, it's fine. But if it's no, fundamentally, you guys are taking the town in the wrong direction. That's so. Back to your problem. schedule. Yeah. Um, so so, so I, th I think what we were looking at is having a, a May 9th sort of an outreach community meeting. Um, we would have a fairly complete draft by then. What do folks think? It wouldn't be a, a formal public hearing. We would incorporate any of those into um, a draft for public review and then notice and then um, how do you do how are you doing a public review of the draft plan is that by by putting that on the web is that 
Um, I'm sure think, someone's not going to send it out there. No, no, no it's can't. not going to send it. You, well, Thea had talked to what we, we talked about sending a postcard with the date for the May 9th meeting as well as the survey. Set up for conversation? Yeah. So I'm looking at you. But no, uh, yeah, so briefly on this, there have been a survey, and I'm not examining the survey for the propriety or accuracy or validity of the questions, okay? There was a survey that was put out there. It got generated before I, well, in the interim. So I'm, I'm looking and asking, really, uh, whether the select board would wish to send a postcard reminder bulk mailing to air, uh, before you say absolutely no, let me just cough it up here. Send a post postcard reminder to each citizen that would give them the date of the first public hearing. It would give them the link to the survey as written and re-energize. It would be reposted and Mitch could talk about how that would have to happen. It's like 40 bucks a month or something or you have to pay some amount to get it back alive. But the idea would be to send a postcard that says, hey, come to the public hearing. Uh, here's the link to the survey if you want to take it. And if you want a hard copy survey, it's available at uh, Town Hall or at the clerk's office. That simple. That's it. So uh, can you just remind me how many people responded to the survey? We got 263 responses, I, was I think, say while it was online. And yeah. you use that for this? Yeah, so I mean... Does it make sense to do the survey again when so, you're this far So here's into the it? thing. Here's my process pitch. I did this in the shower. And it's similar <laughs> to what we were saying. When you open the door wide and keep it open, as a matter of political process from my humble viewpoint, it becomes difficult to say, I didn't have a chance or I didn't know about it, or I wasn't afforded the opportunity to participate, or any reason from malevolent to benevolent. So part of what I want to do is avoid that cacophony. So for me, saying the survey is available, continues to be available, if you have an interest in giving input, please do. Now, that begs the question, what meaningful use will we make of the survey if we've already passed our deadline? Well, I think the idea is that, at least the way I'm trying to present it, is that both matters and doesn't matter. So for me, what I'd like to be able to say is there wasn't a time where you were foreclosed. Even though it was a rigorous timeline that was eyeing a funding opportunity, there wasn't a moment where you as a citizen interested were foreclosed from participating and giving input. So, so that's the idea. So my only question is, so at that time, you have draft. I mean, to me at that point, if it was me, I would be reading the draft. I would I would be thinking exactly what you just said. They've done the draft. Why are they still doing a survey? I, I, I yeah, rather I read the, the survey draft. Is a little con I only think it's confusing because I think I mentioned this earlier. I probably would have forgotten that I took the survey and I would take it again. Because I take so many surveys, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I would think this is a different survey. So I've got a couple quick things on these points. This is not seeking st statistical validity. This is not seeking a certain end from which you can extrapolate, define. Co these are opinions that people are giving, right? Mm -hmm. People that live here. So for me, the biggest challenge, is, and if I were to say, "Oh, Theo," which by the way, I'm not saying, would be the conduit for all these. First of all, I don't imagine a fire hydrant opening. I imagine maybe most people were remembering whether they took it or not, and if they didn't, so what? I'm the only one. <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't remember I either. But I'm teasing you on purpose because at the end of the day, well, so what if you say you want yeah. the tree or you don't want the tree? I mean, at the end of the day, for me, it's, it's really a process statement. And I'm actually looking at you a little bit because I thought this was important to you. So part of what, I'm not trying to pass the buck, no, but part of what I was trying to do here was find a balance between... Well, with what some of the things that you were, as I understand it, speaking to, you really want people to have a chance to give input. So, Theo, let me just ask you this. So, so let's say we open the survey up again, mm -hmm. and we get another 50 responses. Mm -hmm. And you guys review those responses. Mm -hmm. Do you really think it's likely you're going to go in and make a change to your draft as a result of that? Depends what it is. But... I think we need to do that in time so that people have a chance to review the real draft before. I don't, wanna, I don't want you guys to show up at the public hearing and say, this is an updated draft from last week. We're sorry what's on the website is incorrect. And everybody's there going, oh, my God. 
But if you well, if we have a, a sort of an outreach to the community meeting on May 9th, and we don't, we haven't yet figured out what we're going to talk at our next meeting, what what that's going to look like, and how we're going to let people know about it. One possibility is to send a postcard to folks. It's not the formal public hearing. It's you know, here's a draft. Here's what we're thinking about. Please provide input reached into the what's yeah. next Middlesex groups and so on. And if that's the deadline for the survey. That's when we're going to still be getting input, and we have a week after okay. that that's okay to, to incorporate input. Okay, that's okay. I just want to be sure that before the public hearing, what's on the website is what's going to be discussed at the public hearing. It is. Oh, that, that has to be. That that's has a requirement. Be. Yeah. It has, it to, has be. to be a final, and then we notice the public hearing, and we can't do anything. Right. Right. We can't touch it. No changes. It's not a right. Once it gets warned, yeah. Right. Right. So just devil's advocates on a tiny point, because it has to be so. To the extent you left it open and I'm on the select board pro I mean, I, I, I just don't imagine someone's going to say something huge. Uh, maybe they will. Uh, but the fact that one voice, my, I, I agree with you fundamentally. I just am really, really keen on an open process. And yeah, but isn't, isn't, the word, isn't the word that we want to get out to the community is, we want you all to have a chance to be part of this process. Absolutely. Right. There are going to be drafts that you can review, and they may be changing over time, and we'll keep, keep in touch with everybody about that. If we change, for instance, if we make changes after your, uh, or you make changes after your public hearing, then I think what we do is we develop a sidebar document that says, these are the changes as a result of this public hearing. These are the res changes as a result of that public hearing. So people can sort of track the changes, because I can tell you, as you know, you sit down and you read through this, and I might read through it and not even see the change. And I don't think we want to get into, you know, producing copies. I mean, maybe we can do it on the website, produce a copy where the changes are highlighted. Um, but somehow make it obvious what changes have been made. Mm -hmm. But to what Theo was saying, I mean, the most that that's going to be is a couple of months. So you're talking about $35 a month for that survey monkey to bring that same survey back up. I'm not worried so, about the. I'm not worried about the $35. I'm I, just worrying about people feeling that somehow the survey is already over. Now all of a sudden it's going on again. That's. I'm just wondering if people are going to think that's weird. Maybe not. Call me weird. No, I'm teasing. I'm just joking. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. Well, no, I was just, I, I mean, I agree. I think, and that was our initial thing, was to get as many people possible to participate. In I mean, what, you know, what I worry about is, there's the same thing I worry about at town meeting and the same thing I worry about when we have a town-wide vote and only 25% of the community participates. You know, I want the best participation we can get. I mean, I want the, mo the most people we can get to pay attention to this document and really think about it and respond to it, the better it is, however we do it. Mm -hmm. So this will work. The real reason not to do it is it costs a little money. I think that's the no, question. that's not the reason. Yeah. The money's the easy part. No, no not the, no, the $35. The, 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 the mailing itself costs some money to every household for a postcard. So that's... No, that doesn't cost that's not very, very much. much money. It's $1, How much do you think it is? I think it's $1,200. Yeah. 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 That's having it done, right? Somebody doing the postcard. Well, we might get a inside the back alley through Dave Smith. He might mock it up for us. Um, but anyway, the postage alone well, costs that much. The postage alone. Right. I've already talked to Dave about this. Yeah. So it's not a bulk mailing. No. It's, it's me standing there going, running it through the machine. We could do a bulk you. mailing, maybe. Right. We could do a bulk mailing, right? No, when we did it for the listers, we 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 weighed the the price, and it was easier, it was Easy. cheaper for us to do it here. Oh. So anyway, I didn't mean to put a monkey wrench in, but there is a little. But I mean, that's a, no, no, no. I mean, I, I'm I'm not saying, but in the big ebb and flow of things, that's not a lot of money. We don't want to be sending out postcards weekly. Right. Okay. But. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying anything more. I love I'll be down here and like stamps for. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Um, I, I will say though that the 260 or whatever responses is actually a fairly high response to a survey, and that's a, I agree. more yeah. people than have showed up at town meeting. So um, that's right. already a good response. Um, Was that a yes? Was that a yes? 
about the survey? Uh, uh, okay, about ex yeah, well, about the postcard and the survey. Or? Well, is that a recommendation from the Planning Commission? It I'm from, I guess I'm holding the bag here, yes. Or is there a recommendation from a recommendation one from member of the planning commission? <laughs> when is the date for that mailing again? In yeah, May? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Right, so it has, to, it, has to, it has to get, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, we. Yeah, ASAP. If we're going to open it up, let's open it up Yeah, I mean, the, the survey should just be posted right now, if you can. You're waiting for all of you. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't wait for the, po I thought you were going to wait for the postcard. No, wait for the select board. Okay. So what do you want the select board to do? Is the action the next? Approve that the, the 1200 can be spent and that they approve. I mean, if you don't think you need to approve it, and we should just do it on our own, that's a different thing. But. I think the mailing is important because not everybody's on front porch form. So at least right. we've been transparent in trying to get it to everyone. Right. So, And do the survey on front porch form, and you can put it on the... You can put it on the... Yeah, you can put it on, on the postcard or whatever, yeah. but... Put the survey up now. So yeah, sure. so we're, we're, our next meeting is on the third, and we should, within a week of that, be able to get the the postcard mocked up and ready to go. Uh, you're you've got you've got a gazillion things a between. Things I know. Oh, so I don't for the minutes. I, I want to know where that twelve hundred dollars. That's exactly right. right. <laughs> I'm coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna get to, we're gonna get to that. Don't worry. Okay. Well. No, that's important. No, no, no. That's the but, important part. But, uh, can we just back up a minute? Yeah. If 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 you doing this here seriously is a problem, we should look at doing it the other way, even if it costs more money. All right. Well, I don't know the the, the cost difference, but I'll check. It's just that I do have a very busy couple of weeks coming up with elections and school wide meetings and everything else right. like that. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to have time running to do this, but I will I will do my best. And if not. I'm sure the trusted members of the planning commission can come down and run them. I would be glad to or they can. And can do it too. Oh, there you go. Need me to pitch in? Anybody just let me can know. do it. So that's I'm not just since I'm not designing the postcards or anything like that. That's fine. It just takes a lot of time to run those all those things through. Okay. I think we can get some volunteers there. to. There, yes. there you go. There you go. Now you're talking. Thank you. I would just, we got the volunteers to write a lot of this. <laughs> Sooner, I mean, if we're going to do which I think we're deciding we're doing, although we're we'll take a little vote here in a minute. Um, sooner the better. I mean, get the get the thing opened up. Yeah. And the postcard will say, will the postcard have these dates on it? It will have the May 9th date. Right. And then I think it will have the date for the formal public hearing, which which is right. tentatively right. now for uh, June June 19th. Right. And we'll make sure that that we we'll, right. we'll, we'll we'll discuss that at our, at our meeting next week and make sure that we can commit to that, that we'll get yeah. everything okay. we need done by then. And a link to the survey and re in reference that the hard copy can be available. And a link and what's to, in, what's link involved to the in reactivating the survey, just getting into Survey Monkey and um, I'd have to talk to Marika because she did it before. Probably just a credit card and yeah, a few the credit cards. Card. Damn do it. credit card we don't have. Yes we do. Yeah. <laughs> we got a credit card, a town a real time a real credit town card. Credit card. Well wow. that's Ooh. news to me. I used mine last time. <laughs> yeah. You guys told me to no get kidding. one. Good time. work. Well, good work. <laughs> so, just two more points on this. So, 6 9 would be the deadline for the period. Uh, the 6 19. Does that make sense then? That after. No. The people That's the public hearing. We have to have our draft done before then. So, we would we like to have your draft done before then. But yeah. if we have a public yeah. hearing and we were having yeah. input, that could impact. I'm just trying to figure out the end of the survey period, last day at which we could. The survey. Is going to result in changes before your public hearing, before okay. your. Well then. Six. So what's the deadline then for the? Well, if you have if you have a public hearing, you've got to have it warned. You've got to have those, the the right. draft ready to go at least right. 15 days beforehand. Right. Mm -hmm. That means you have to have a meeting where you approve the draft, mm -hmm. and then <clears> close <throat> close all changes. Mm -hmm. So you have you. It's up to you guys to look at that calendar and pick out yeah. your last meeting before that public hearing. But at the public hearing, will we not potentially hear oral comment that could influence our draft? You will, but you have to the draft you have to put up for people. No, to I comment. mean I get that. Right. So yeah, yeah. Why so couldn't it be that the survey so equaled the same length as what oral comment will be? You uh, couldn't I mean, take that six nineteen. I'm just trying to make it. They're just going to take probably a little time to compile those things so you can sort of share them with people. So yeah. I think well, it makes sense to end the survey at some point. Just give some time to. Aggregate the results because people so are going to aggregate after the comment too. Don't don't we want to say that the results of the survey are incorporated yes. in the draft yes. Yes. before this yes. meeting? Yes. 
I not agree. that the results of the survey will be discussed at the public hearing for more changes. You're right. I mean, I would rather have it. I would rather have it. Yeah, we opened up the survey. We got the results. We reviewed them, and appropriate changes were made to the draft, which means you're going to have to back it up like 20 days. Which before Which diminishes its value. So again, I, I'm not. I'm push back just a little bit. So the idea, having run a few public hearings, which generally most people don't show up at public hearings and rulemaking right. anyway, but let's just say a bunch of people show here. That is also. I'm not disagreeing with you. That's also a day. Uh, after which we're going to be compelled to recognize oral comments that were made. Correct. But otherwise, the public hearing would be a farce or a, or a no, sham. No, no, no. So, Absolutely. So, so, so I'm just trying to think whether this was it really matter because you're saying an inundation. If only 200 and odd people did the first survey, I'm not expecting a thousand in the second. So for me, I, I just hate that. I just amazing. would hate, and this is just me speaking, mm -hmm. to spend the public hearing having you guys, it's going to be you, present, and oh, by the way, since we finalized this draft, we have had 20 okay. more surveys, and this is the information in the survey. That, that to me, muddies up the water. Okay. I guess the way I'm thinking about it is the survey has, serves a little different purpose than the comments, right? right? The survey is something you want to aggregate and get like a mm -hmm. sort of a bigger picture, mm -hmm. and people can still email comments sure after the survey's closed, just as they can make oral comments at the public hearing. So to me, okay. the survey loses its value if you wait till the public hearing to close it, because then we can't incorporate it. Let's rather, just say I adopt that entirely. When would the deadline be? That would be May 9th. Because then we can so incorporate it the day we have. That makes it increasingly ludicrous. You guys, our BCA meeting is supposed to be at 6. I know. Yeah. We're, we're going to... Uh, so it's going to open up the survey. We're going to open up the survey for 30 days. Okay, let's do that's, it. And that'll give people who can get the postcard and still have another two weeks. Better or something, right? it. Plus, something. plus, it's going to be available here. To, right. It is available here, right? In yeah. And also, you don't have to have your draft done until like May 29th. We have, yes. For 15, 15 days before of 619. Yeah, but you got to have time to compile the surveys and, and meet and decide Should if you're going to change properly. anything as a result of the surveys. We have to send it to neighboring towns 30 days ahead of the hearing. So when 30 we'll, days ahead of the hearing. 30 days. Woo. So you can do Yeah, you can so do that's, that's on the, the back of this. this. You could have it on May 15th then. <clears throat> right. May 15th. That's when you that's have your meeting. Have here. Exactly. Okay. So that's May the end 15th. of the. Maybe we have our, meet, have our meeting on May 15th. And right. then we the have end to of the survey yeah. period. End of the survey period then. Yeah. Thank you. And then um, <laughs> just, just one other thing our schedule looks at the select board. We have to actually physically give you the plan. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, we have that tentatively as June 24th. Is that, I, when are you meeting in June? Do you know your June meeting? Well, first uh, and the third, hopefully. They don't change it, the J, 4th and the 18th, but you technically could change it. You could have a meeting on the 25th, because I was oh. going to ask, oh, come on, I'm sorry. Because I was going to ask to get out of the forest because I have to go to a graduation, but that's okay. Um, well, you can go to a graduation. <laughs> My, one of my, and we've really got to wrap this yes, up for okay. tonight, but one of my concerns is, you know, once we get into the summertime here, I mean, I, I understand that, you, uh, I understand the goal of town vote on 9-3, but oh my God, you know, dealing with having people show up to anything in the summertime is a problem, and 9-3 is... Labor Day. Oh my God! I mean, are we going to get anybody to show up for a special town meeting on nine three? I just want to throw that out there. Well, the we are avoiding are August. <laughs> <laughs> when is Labor Day? Second. People are back yeah. for school yeah. then, right? Yeah. So people yeah. should be at least in yeah. town. Yeah. Labor Day is the second. Oh. It's the day after Labor Day. It's the day after Labor Day. I'm just can they vote beforehand? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, I, mean, I, 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 I just. Do. And, and I know Sandy's heard me say this before, I hate special votes and special meetings because I'm always scared that only the people who really want it or really don't want it show up. And all those friendly people in the middle are off drinking uh, tonics and whatever at the lake and they, they don't come. <laughs> I, don't know I don't know who that could be. He's <laughs> looking your way. <laughs> Dorinda and I have history on that yeah. subject. Yeah. I'm just asking that question. We don't have to decide that. Yeah, tonight, I mean, I, I think it, it's, you know, it, a, a special election is never ideal. I think not having it in August is good, and I think right after Labor Day is about as... So all I'm asking is, 
is another week a deal breaker? Is that nine three day? I think we did check. I, 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 another week may not be, and I can check that. Yes. Is there I just any think any elections or anything in September? We need to have we that have, drop this, that is, data, this is a non-election year. You wouldn't know so it. That, wouldn't you know it? Otherwise, we would have had something. Yeah. Right? yeah. The elections in I just yeah. think I every mean, we day you get away from you get away from Labor Day is a good thing, and yeah. you don't want to be before. So Labor are you guys day. changing the date for that? No, not now. No. Not not now. I'm going to check on a drop dead date for whether it should it's nine three or if it could be a week later. Yeah. Um, I just I'll think check that would make a real difference. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys. But thank you very much. Thank you. Do you want to adjourn your meeting for the minutes? Motion, motion to adjourn. you want to move? So moved. moved yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those? Okay, we're adjourned. The next call. So so you. Thanks. Okay. Thank you we are, and we are temporarily adjourning the select board meeting for the Good to see you live. Sorry. Liz, you're up. That's all right. Call to order. Any guests? Well, we'll, 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 we'll start. Okay. All right. Thanks. Who is paying for the um, I You are. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, Doug, Doug had to leave. Oh, really? Mm hmm Okay. It's okay. We still have a quorum. Okay. Does that count? Okay. So, Liz, you want to Yep. So, call the meeting to order at 6-12. Any guests? Sandy, you staying? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Amendments? No. Okay. April 8th, 2019, special school board meeting. Designating two BCA members to assist town clerk at the Washington Central Unified Union School District special meeting at Union 32 High School on April 8, 2019. Jan Thorne says she will help. She's one. Okay. By supervising the checklist, counting the votes, and handling any potential paper balloting. Action likely. I think actually you can get away with just Jan. And just Jan. Jan and me. Yeah. Okay. The, the East Montpelier has really great JPs. Okay. Any discussion? Okay, so do we have a motion? Yeah. I'll move. Okay, to elect <laughs> Jan and Sarah. I second that. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. Opposed? I will probably be there also with one flying back to Vermont that day, so. Okay, maybe, and Peter is back up. Yeah. Okay, April 9th. 2019 U32 and Romney budget votes designating BCA members and or the following Middlesex voters to serve as ballot clerks from 7 to 10 a.m. and from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday, April 9th for the U32 and Romney budget votes in the town clerk's office. Durinda Crowell, Helen Weed, Jane Tucker, Eric Young. Action so moved. likely. Second. Uh, also, I'd like to, I'm oh, sorry, Peter moved and Steve second. Yeah. And, um, and I was going to come at 7, but then you, that doesn't... Okay. Can you come at yeah, 7? Yeah, I was planning on it. That would be awesome. Yeah. So you'll be there with... with uh, so Liz will be there from 7. Thank you so You're much. You're muting me to start the... Because we're doing... We don't know. We're, we're not having a... Tab the, are you oh, talking we're, just, we're not going to use the tabulator? We're just going to... We're just newspaper votes. For okay. Like, oh, well, here we go to the next section. To sign a BCM member. No, but wait. I need, I need 7 a.m. I need someone from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Oh. Because I am not going to be there at 7 a.m. after working all night. Um, um, what day of the week is that? It's a Tuesday. So wait. I can probably do the early slot. Can you? Thank yeah, you. where do I have to be? Here. Okay. Um, all the way to 10? You don't have to. I mean, I can, I can probably come I can definitely be here for the first considering piece I'm going to be here until 8 o'clock and I'm considering we working until it's crazy. So, so when are Dorinda, Helen, Jane, Eric coming? When I, uh, when I, when I just need that, I just need the BCA to approve them in case I can't oh. get any other people. Okay. Can you, you don't want to Yeah, I can come in. Can you come in? Yeah, when? Do you, you want me for the 7 a.m. slot? Do you, can you do that? Sure. Really? That doesn't conflict with child care or anything else like that? Hold on. I do you want to come at the I end? Saw... I can come wherever you need to fill in. How about 3 to 7 p.m.? Can you come in there? Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. You guys, where did I just see something about the ballots opening at 10 a.m.? I thought that Bill Kimball posted something. It's different in different towns. Different town. Every town is okay, different. I thought that was yeah. about well, this the, particular the school vote. board volunteered my, uh, so I would I would have been fine at 10 a.m. So the right. school board volunteered me at, <laughs> at 7 a.m. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, oh, wow, 10, that's nice for Sarah. No, no, it's not. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah, I should have Chris McVeigh down here at 7 a.m. So, Dorinda's yeah. going to do 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. 
and I just need any JPs on hand for in case we have a little problem. You might be available if we have some I, sort of dispute. You want me to be from 7 a.m. to like 9? 7 to 9 would be great. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to double check. but oh. I'm not around, otherwise I would help. Oh, that's too bad. I, I will be in Florida. Sorry. Wait, do you need help from 7? I can just I could, if I need somebody. If you need it, I can I probably can extend it longer. All I need, Dorinda, if I could just have you from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. and then help me count okay. votes. Okay. Thank you. And then, Liz, uh, what I really need is if we have some sort of dispute, I'm not expecting this at all, but if we have a dispute where that has to be resolved. I'm around. I can be here in okay, 10 minutes. Okay, fine. That's great. So, uh, Peter is back up okay. on the 9th. Great. <clears throat> and then... Um, uh, at 7 a.m., Theo, you're going to come from 7 a.m. to 9, p 9 a.m.? Yes, is that good? That's yeah. great. Thank you very much. That will help. Okay, great. Just is there a key to get in? Great. You're not going to be here? Yeah. Marika will be here. Marika will be here Marika's going to work from 7 to, like, 2 okay. or something like that. All right. So, you're okay? Yeah. All right. So, assigning BCA members to participate in counting paper ballots for the above vote. We need people to take... So, that's what I was going to do. Okay, so that's going to be Liz and maybe Dorinda and me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And anybody else that can get it broke in. Okay. Any action like oh action likely? Um, we haven't voted on any. We don't, you don't have to vote. Yeah. On. Okay. You voted on the yeah. You voted on the yeah. Vote. Okay. Yeah. Appointing two JPs to carry yeah, youth ballots and to Berlin Elementary for tabulating. Action likely. Is there any discussion or nominations of who might do that? Are there people who like to do that? I think Chris, Chris likes like to, to do it. it. Well, Jan well, Jan's Jan. gonna be working the night before. Oh, she can't okay. be available yeah. on that. I, I think. Um, who, who are the JPs? You? Well, uh, Chris is yeah. one. Chris McVeigh is one. Of course not. Yeah, so you and Chris could do it. He doesn't want to do it. Okay. We'll get Chris McVeigh and um, maybe get Charlie to do it. He's a JP. Okay. Okay. As a fallback, I can do any of these well, things. Well, I mean, it's just a question of... So it'll be Charlie and Chris. Is that a comment Chris. to have him carry the U32 ballots? If he's on the U32 board? Probably, yeah. So he shouldn't do it. No, he shouldn't do it. Well, who else is a JP? You, but you, you don't want to do it. I, it's not a matter of wanting. I just don't have my work schedule. I think I have a board meeting. Oh. Does it have to be a JP? It does. Uh, put me down. If I, yeah. Kevin forbid I can't do it, we'll do something else. So this would be in the, kind of late at night, right? But yeah. so, no, it's going to be exactly at 7 o'clock. I yeah. expect to have 25 ballots, frankly, and then we'll just count them out, and then some we do exactly you the same thing. Take them to Berlin, you think? So Peter's available. That's great, but I can double check if you need. Okay. Me. Right. Okay. So, so do we go? We do we take the ballots there and then participate in the counting the ballots, or just sick? You should be able to just drop them off. It's the same person. They're they're going to be tabulator ballots. They're not going to be hand counts like we're going to have here. All right. Okay. So we're just only doing hand counts here to save money. It just is just was ridiculous. I wasn't going to spend to get the another five hundred bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, God, no. Um, okay. So, is there a motion? Sure. For I'll move it. Second. Peter move. Steve second to oh. have Chris McVeigh and Peter Hood. And Peter Hood is um, with they, Theo as backup. Right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Anything else to come before the board? No. We adjourn the meeting at 6. Good work. 19. <laughs> Good job. Woo Thank, thank you, beautiful you, Theo. people. Have a good Thanks, night. Theo. Yeah, thank See you later. And I think Bill helped us volunteer to help out in something to it. Just oh, to I'm sure it. he did. Yeah. He's a good man. Yeah. Okay, now what? Back to the okay. Do we reopen the meeting? I will reopen the select board meeting. And we need to reappoint. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's go back to who's paying for the postcard. <laughs> good question. They have a budget. They have a they, they, they're, they're not expecting that. They you were paying for it. That was my that was well, I never said I was paying for it. Well, well that is only $500 while they were that's there. That's why we were trying to do that. You said, oh, we'll figure that out later. Take it out of their budget. They only have $500 in their budget. Well, their budget, well, their budget isn't going to do it anyway. They They're already going to go yeah. over their budget there, because we authorize them to which, anyway. On yeah. the, on the well, consultant. let them go over right. a little more. Right, that's we right. We can do that. So that means your discretionary money fund goes into the bank. It'll, it'll end up paying okay. for it, yes. Okay, but so it goes to the Planning Commission budget. Because we're going to want to send out postcards, too, probably. Well, I just want you to know, as of February, you are 55% spent on your postage budget, so. Wow. 
That's what we have. good. We have a lot of left. Well, no, you have 13. We only put in 2,500 or something. Yeah, but it's more than half so, a year. But that won't even cover <laughs> what If you're saying this postcard is $1,200, that would leave you $100 heavy. to get to July. And we have special, we have we'll uh, absentee ballots galore. <laughs> we'll find the money. Well, yeah. no, but we need to. So if you want me to say, if you want me to say that it should come out of the select board's discretion, no, I, mean, I think that the, I think that it, it should it. come out of the planning commission's budget and let them be over budget. Right, that's what okay. I yeah, think. Yeah, that's right. Okay, then. We'll end up paying for it, but it, it should yeah, yeah, be yeah, in their budget. Who's leading? Exactly. Is that Sandy? Yep. No, that was Theo. That okay, was Theo. I just wanted to make that clear because that yep. was not Good. how it was implied. Good point. Okay. Well, okay. It's all us, right? Uh -huh. yeah. All right. You got me so excited, so I lost my paperwork. Reappointing Larry. I'm back. Larry Sharp. Did he say yes? I don't know. You're supposed to ask him. Oh. You were supposed <laughs> to ask him. My husband? Yeah. I'm sure he said that yes. Who, I'm sure he said yes. <laughs> no, he's fine with it. You recall that. <laughs> yes, he's fine with it. So if Robert Mueller calls really you thrilled. up, you'll, you'll be You'll be so rip. thrilled. <laughs> okay. okay, so is there a motion to reappoint Lori? I'll make that motion. And a second? I'll second it. <laughs> Good. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, congratulations, Lori. You'll inform yeah, him, that, inform he's him been, that he's been... Don't forget now. Alternate. That'll be an interesting conversation. Yes. <laughs> hey, honey, guess what? <laughs> I'm sure it's. I, I'm sure that's been a that's been a horrible burden to him. He had to go to one meeting. Said. Yeah. What's that? The financial plan. Did you guys just blow me off? I uh, no. Well, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I apologize for that, but I, I have talked to Paul and I haven't met him. Okay. But we will be meeting shortly, and I'll get that. Do you think you can have it for the April second meeting? Yes. Okay. Good. Absolutely. So that was passed. Uh, yeah, because I got to meet with him quite a while. We got to go over a lot of sign stuff too. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't. Wow. Wow. Approval of March twelfth, two thousand nineteen, select board minutes. Is there a motion? I'll move. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any other business that may come before the board? I just want to give you a very quick synopsis of this mess from what I know right now. Okay. Carl warned me, us, whatever you may recall, back last summer that there was a problem with the water system and it involved the storage tank for not the fire, not the fire system, but the fresh water system. Um, and it was going to be expensive. So I don't know if that's the cause of this hauling water that ultimately that tank failed or what. I mean, I don't know what the current problem is, but there are obviously if they've been hauling water since October problems and why they've been doing this this long. I have no, I, no idea. So Carl talked to Sarah right yes. this week and said, I want to drill my own well for the Hardigan building. Yep. We already have our own well with the fire, the fire department. So, you know, to me, because that was the question I asked why, way back then is, why are we, the town of Middlesex, gonna be forced to participate in this massive upgrade to this public water supply, which also is just an administrative nightmare in terms of testing, documenting, maintaining, the whole thing is, a nightmare. It was maybe a good idea when that was supposed to be a true industrial site with a whole bunch of different buildings, but yeah. it didn't turn out to be that. So Carl, I believe, from what he said to Sarah, and I still haven't talked to him, wants to do away with that public. whole public water supply thing and force Benderson, he wants to drill his own well, Benderson would need to drill their own well on their own property and then there is no more public water. Public water, and that makes all the sense in the world to me. I think yes. I have new information because today, uh, Brooke 
uh, Dingletine or whatever her name is from a certain law firm representing Carl. Dingletine is her Dingletine name? Dingletine, yeah, I think so. Something like, it's like that. that. Right. So she came in today to do a whole bunch of research on Welch Park for Carl and has been trying to deal with Benderson about this water situation. Who is, who is she again? She's rich. She's a lawyer. She's going, She went through the whole Welch Park agreement to figure out... So she, Carl has hired her? I guess Carl has hired her. And who's okay. Benderson? That is the company that, that owns the building. That, yeah, uh, they own the building. Okay. Um, and they have been very unresponsive. So I just spoke to Brooke recently, I mean, just briefly about what the situation was, because I thought that it was solved, that we thought that the water problem had been solved. It sounds like Benderson is the problem here. They've just kind of... Not they're just doing their own thing, calls. right? They're not participating. They're not doing anything, which I think is what's putting that has forced the employees of Consolidated to bring in their own water, which is not okay with the state. Mm -hmm. So, well, not only the, what what's what's operating the bathrooms and all that. I don't know. What well, must be this water? Well, I don't think that's the issue. No one's drinking out of a toilet. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm not Which saying drinking out of the toilet. How about just flushing the toilet? I don't know. But she said, I think Carl is going a little too fast. Uh, he's, he's going way too fast. He has said, no authority said, to do any of this she stuff. She said when she's going to get all this research, because she talked to a, there's like a conflict of interest with some company in Burlington dealing with Consolidated. It's okay. It's They're working it all out. It's a lawyer thing. But she said, you know, I think by next week I'm going to have a lot more information. And she is planning to come to the meeting next week that may work around this. It's, okay. That was the, the that's well, what I think she's trying to do. What I, what I am not interested in doing, because he was talking about tens of thousands of dollars right. to upgrade this fresh water system, which we don't even use, and he doesn't want to use. So my question is, which, which I don't understand, he has no well now. Right. So where's he getting his damn water from? This, he's trucking it in. No. 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 Carl's I don't think got, so. Carl says he's got water, didn't he? No, he said he was gonna. I, I don't know. I don't know if he's drawing so it from a, a common so well. I think he might be drawing it from a Welch Park well, and he's saying I want to get right. off the Welch Park well system and go on this other system, and that for some reason consolidated is right, not. Right, but why doesn't it. why doesn't cons consolidate is on that system too? Well, that's why he. I, from what I thought he was saying was that that's the problem with is that consolidated. It's not on the whole the system. And he said we shouldn't be paying because he told me not to pay any bills right. that came in for water bills for anything because it's not our issue, his issue or our issue. It's a consolidated issue. Well, it's definitely well, our issue. Well, that's what because the, yeah, those Welsh Park bylaws really require. Park, that's part of the whole Welsh Park, Park thing. Public water system. There's there's two lines that go to every lot. One was from the fire pond. Right. And one is from the well. But I think he, did he imply or did I misunderstand him that it, the problem lies just with consolidated getting water? It's just with consolidated getting water. And I don't know why right. consolidated can't get water, why they can't use the same well. Well, maybe their line failed or something. I mean, who knows? Yeah. We don't know. That's but the, isn't he hauling water from some off site thing? Not, not Carl. No, consolidated is. Okay. So, so that was my question that I, that I was going to ask him is. If but the if well is still functioning, why are they hauling water? Well, I think I think the problem is that Carl's hauling hauling from a common well, and I don't know why uh, Consolidated isn't uh, taking it from a common. There's only right? one well. There's only one well. There's one. Well, we have a well. We have our own well. Consolidated and Carl right now, unless he drilled a well today, they're hooked up to the Welch Park public water system. Well, this is why. Well, this is why he's coming to the meeting on April second. Right. Of all, I could, so this is yeah. just so everybody can be mulling this over. So, so the other part of this is what I thought Carl was saying, based on what you told me, is he wants to blow up Welch Park and not even help have Welch Park exist anymore. What? Well, he was he? I don't. We didn't talk about main, maintenance of the roads, but he certainly wants to have. He wants to have every. He wants, he wants to get out, out of the water, water system. Yeah, he wants out of the water yeah, system. Yeah, but remember, there are not one but two water systems, and <laughs> we don't want to not be part of the second water system, which is the fire protection part of it. I don't know, but yeah, that's why he And he doesn't either because those hydrants there are flooded or serviced by that big fire pump in that fire pond. 
and the pump that's down in the river that fills the fire pond. Okay. And that's all part of Welsh Park. And believe me, I don't want to give that up either. That's fire protection for our fire station. Okay. So we got to somehow maintain that. And that, as far as I know, since we had the problem last year with the, with the well pump down in the river, is working. Well, mm -hmm. I expect some sort of memo from Brooke before the end of the, the week on okay. this issue. That should okay. probably but clarify something. We've got, we've got road issues and we've got fire protection issues. Road, and fire then protection, public and drinking water. And Those drinking water are the three things. And I'm hoping we can get out of the drinking water fiasco. But I don't have, I have incomplete information, just this scary letter which I shared with you. And I did try to reach out to Benderson. I, I feel like my kids. I contacted Benderson by email, the contacts I've got for them down in Florida. And he said, you know, thank you, I'll pass this along, and then I've heard nothing, nothing since. Nothing, right. It's weird. It's amazing we can get them <laughs> into property taxes. Anyway. They pay under protest. That's what they put on their checks. They had to pay under protest. <laughs> What's that mean? It's like if there's some sort of glitch that happens there, they're in the clear or something. I forget. No. Well, anyway. So the last thing I have about this is somehow, and I am not interested personally in being the president of the Welch Park Industrial Park, but we've got to gain control of that whole thing. We're part of it. We never have meetings. We never know what's going on. Carl's off doing his thing, whatever whatever he's doing, repaving <laughs> parking lots and roads and, yeah. you know, and we're part of that. So, you know, whether we set up a thing where we have quarterly meetings, I don't care if they're, you know, over the phone or whatever, but somehow there's got to be some exchange of information because there's some real liability there. And this was all supposed to be a good thing, you know. Maybe we should have built our firehouse down here. I don't think we're going down that road. No. But there's trouble in River City as far as I'm concerned on this. Literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Alrighty then. Are you looking at the camera? I'm looking at the camera. Mr. Warren River City. <laughs> Yeah. And I, I asked uh, I asked Sarah if we can't get any answer from him. I'll I'll go up there and hit him over the whatever. But I want to be assured that the well at the fire station provides adequate water for that fire station. That we're not somehow thinking that oh we can just turn yes. on the valve and we can be connected to but, the and southern water. we're talking water about system. not just drinking water, but flood filling tankers. Well, the filling tankers is part of the fire protection thing. There's a big pipe and a little fallen down house where we can back up and fill up our tankers from the fire. Okay, pond. so that well that has nothing to do with the well. That has nothing to do okay. with okay. potable water. Yeah. So you're talking about drinking and flushing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you would just want to know if that well is. And as far as I know, it does because yeah. we're not even. I don't know. The, 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 the problem we had last summer was the fire pond when uh, oh, uh, dry. Pro, it, it went dry, and there and was a, because there, there wasn't was water. There was something else. It was a problem with no, like, it was the pump. pump. It was, was the pump down right. in the river. Right, there's a, there's right. A, but the pump. But that's why the well was. That's why the fire pond was dry because the pump had failed. Correct. The pump had right. failed. It wasn't dry. That, that, was had, nothing empty. Do, that had nothing, nothing to do with the bottom of water. That's right. But at that time, he was saying. The storage tank for the potable water system was failing and needed to be replaced. And he was consulting with an engineer to figure out what it was going to be. And I said, Jesus, don't you go replacing any tens of thousands and of dollars of no tanks? I don't know why that should be so expensive anyway. Well, well it's, just it's just unbelievable to me that the, those guys are there every day. That's the fire pond that protects their building. It's half empty, and nobody says a word. Because they're tenants. They're not, land, they're not owners. And it they're going to be anything. they're going to be cooking like the Christmas turkey if that place catches on fire and there's no water in that fire pond. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's it's you know it is what it is. But we're stuck with the fire pond, I think. I, yeah. I because but, it's the hydrants and also the filling of the yeah, trucks. But that that whole fire pond, that whole system was put in for the telephone company at that time. Well, it's their sprinkler system. Oh yeah, they have a dry system. 
Yeah. Right. Can I have exactly. Yeah. They have a dry system, and if, if something you, happens, then that fire pond pump kicks in and. Right. And of course, building. you know, they, Benderson, are supposed to be testing all that, which apparently they never do. So, you know, to think. To think that that sprinkler is going to trip and that fire pump is going to start up, I think it's a pipe dream. But that's just me. You know, those things have to be maintained. They have to be run. They have to be. Yeah, I don't think anybody's been doing anything mm. no. there for quite some time. No, no. You need And that's a good system. I mean, it's an expensive. You should take CBD. The only thing that I'm relying on is they do have to have sprinkler inspections, and the sprinkler inspector should be determining that that thing functions as part of his job. But how would we ever know? And yet, we rely on that too. So, you know, somehow, whether we get the reports or I don't know how we get, I don't know how we get control of it. I really don't. I don't know. And it's a problem. And and. Uh, and Carl, of course, wants to wants to sell a building. Once he sells that building, he's going to be gone. Then God only knows what happens. Yep. Isn't that? Did we make that within the scope of the highway commissioner to do that? Maybe we did. Point of order, and we didn't sign yeah. orders. Yeah. I didn't sign orders. Good job, though. We got we got one signature on the orders. Yeah. Um, anything else, anybody? <coughs> no. Okay. Well, with that, I will adjourn the meeting, and uh, we will review and sign these orders. Okay. We are adjourned at six thirty-five. Nice.